Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I thought I would start the week off with a new Get Ready With Me video. I did this look, which is a little bit of a combo and I'll talk about that in the video. I don't wanna get into it now, I don't wanna to take too long. So if you have hooded eyes, if you have downturned eyes, if you want your makeup to look photo ready and last all day, then this is a good video for you to watch. I'll be right back. Hey guys. Do I look like a crazy lady? <laughs> Any more than usual? Okay, we're gonna do a get ready with me today. And I'm going to do a couple of different things. Okay, I've had these eye patches on. I wanted to show them to you. These are the ones that are in my rodeal kit. I've had these on, I don't know how long, since right after I washed my face. And I've been bringing things upstairs, going up and downstairs. They're warm. <laughs> I just wanted to show those to you, and I was thinking that might make my under eyes look better too. I probably should do that more. I always do eye patches at night, but I probably should do them in the morning. Okay, what we're gonna do today is a get ready with me. I'm gonna kind of copy the makeup that I did yesterday. I had a little mini photo shoot with a photographer here in town for nothing special. I just wanted to see how it went, see how I liked the photos, and then I would know I had someone if I wanted to do something really special. I had to meet them at the beach at nine o'clock. So I had to get up, do my makeup, four pictures, and it had to last, you know, for a little bit. It didn't really have to, but you guys know what I mean. So then we went to the pool and we stayed at the pool for a couple of hours. Then I came home, I took a quick nap because I had gotten up really early yesterday morning so that I would have time to chill and then get there and take a couple outfits and stuff like that. And so I took a little quick snooze before I went to my parents. Then I went over there for a little while, came home, went to go take off my makeup and it was almost, I mean, it was just like, Flawless. It was just like it was. I could not believe it. So I thought I would do my makeup and show you, you know, how to get good lasting summer makeup. And one of you asked me about hooded eyes. Well, if you've been with me, you know, I used to have severely hooded eyes. Now, when I was young, I had just natural Blake Lively, normal hooded eyes. But when I got older, the fat kind of went out of that puffiness and I was just left with one eye would fold back and the skin would kind of go over the eye and then the other skin would just go straight down and fold up. So they didn't look the same and I would try to make those better with makeup and I did and then I had a blepharoplasty. So I will leave that video down below. Okay, so yesterday, I used my Estee Lauder Double Wear. My summer colors, I'm gonna shake these together, are a mixture of 3W1 Tawny and 4N1 Shell Beige. So it's just a good warm and a good neutral. And what I do is, this one has a pump, but as you can see, the pump gets very clogged. I don't really recommend the pump. To me, it's just a disaster waiting to happen. I have like, like squirted it all over the bathroom, all over myself because it comes out so bad. So I put some on the back of my hand like that and I just prefer pouring it. And I put just a little bit of the tawny. As soon as I see it coming out, I kind of pull up and do that. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and mix it up well. I used to not worry about mixing it up and I think you should. So I'm going to just kind of spread this on my face. And you can see I have, I need to really try to do something about that spot, but this will cover it up. I go everywhere. I go over my eyelids. I do everything. Please excuse my dirty sponge. But this is a Colleen Rothschild sponge. And I like this flat side. And I don't know if she sells it anymore. It is damp. I rang it out 
and uh, kind of squeezed it in a washcloth. And like I said, I don't know if she sells this anymore. So if you can't get this one, I'll look it up. Get the uh, Real Techniques or another one that just has a flat side. I just particularly, particularly like this one. Okay. So I kind of rub it all over and then where I want more coverage, I kind of stamp it on like that. And then I bring the rest down my neck. And I did use something different. When I did my rodeo video, so many of you told me about your favorite rodeo products. Thank you, because a lot of times I'll get something in PR and I don't get a chance to try it or, you know, it just, I, I intend to, but it sits there. One of you told me how much you loved the sculpting gel. Well, I was looking for it and I came across this, which is the Dragon's Blood Neck and Decollete Hydrate and Tone. So I have been using this on my neck and chest. Someone asked me what I was wearing on my chest yesterday in my Walmart video, it was this. Okay, so I feel like I want just the slightest bit more. So I'm just gonna, just because it's easy, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, and I do kind of go over my eyebrows. I'm so on the fence about if I like them darker or not. It's like I do, but then sometimes I don't. Okay, so there is the foundation. The next thing I do is, and this is, you know, I might switch it up, but this is if I know I want my makeup to look good in pictures and I want it to last all day. This is the translucent Laura Mercier. I take that same dirty sponge, dip it in the top, and then I kind of roll it into my hand like this. And that kind of, I think that kind of makes almost like a powder concealer. And then I go like this, and I kind of go around my mouth and my nose where it's gonna wear off, like that. I dip it again, roll it off on my hand, And this time I'm going to take a little bit and just put it up here. Go around those smile lines right there. And just kind of all the places that my makeup comes off. So you're getting the main coverage and lightening benefit of up under here. But then you kind of finish up like this. And then I usually take my brush. This is the Rodeal the multi-blend brush. This is the brush that is in my edit kit and it is such a good brush, I'm gonna show you. So I usually take the brush and just get what's left of the powder and, you know, use it on my face. Then I like this translucent honey. You can see it's a little bit darker and there'll be some in the lid. I usually just dip my brush some and go over the rest of my face. And you'll see it gives me just a little bit of color and it gets it ready. You don't really have to set double wear. Double wear sets itself. It's evidently it's got a lot of powder and I am getting my roots done today. I know they look terrible, especially when you like pin them down like this. But so anyway, I use this to go everywhere else to kind of get ready for my bronzing escapade. Just a good, basic bronzer. I'm going to take this same brush, dip it in here, kind of work it in, and then I'm going to start my contour bronzing, you know, thing that I do. I have to be careful because I'm bad about, matter of fact, you're supposed to kind of do like this instead of this to avoid that stripe around your forehead trying to get more into the habit of that because I'm bad about doing that and then getting a stripe. But my hair will be down. I'm just kind of contouring that big forehead of mine. And then I always go on the jawline right here. And I go a little bit so you can see it and a little bit below like that. And I do it again like that. And then I usually What's left on my brush, I come down like that. Now, because I always want just like that 
sun kiss warmth i like this butter bronzer in deep i'm gonna do the same brush kind of knock it off on the lid just the smell of this makes you happy it smells like summer it smells like hawaiian tropic so i'm kind of going over the same place but that's just giving me more of that warm tone orangey I go over all the same places like that okay, then we're on to blush same brush this is the Milani Luminoso I'm gonna put it a little bit higher on my cheeks because you can see that kind of gives a little bit of a highlight too like that and if you're going all out, take a little bit of these rhodial bronze drops, put a little bit on your hand, a bit more than that. And then I like to just dip the brush, kind of work it in the brush like that. And I use this as kind of like a bronzy, glowy contour. To me, it is just like 90s supermodel in a bottle. I mean, it's just that look it's that what they used like a darker blush and they kind of put it in their contour area and then like everything else i just i think it all builds and then when you're done see how good this brush is how it doesn't it lets go of the product okay so those are my cheeks and my foundation and I'm trying to think, did I set yesterday? But I think I did. I just like this Morphe spray and I don't use too much. Just a little spray like that. I better use my, my mirror over here. Let's see. I'm using the mirror behind you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Look how smooth too. One swipe. And what I have on my lips now is the City Beauty Clear Plumping Gloss. Beautiful. I meant to blot my lips. So I'm gonna blot just the center. And this is what I wore yesterday. It is the Tom Ford Spanish Pink. If you don't have it you need it get it before they discontinue it they discontinue everything good so I can't believe it's still around it's one of the uh, first ones isn't it beautiful oh my gosh it's so pretty and because that lip liner lasts so well you can just take this with you and you don't really have to touch up but I did notice I don't like it if my, I don't want to look like a puppet. If your lips aren't connected real good right here, you can, it just looks funny. Okay, so that, I mean, that's why a lot of times I, do, I go without eye makeup because to me, a good face and a lip, and you won't believe that I had a cat hair in my mouth. A little fuzzy one, probably belongs to sassy wherever she is okay so now i haven't done this in a while but i thought we would play with the anastasia brow freeze and i'll show you how it works because it's pretty cool okay so first thing i'm going to do i don't want to yuck up this too bad so i'm going to just run a dry q-tip through my brows and i am using brooke has a whole pack of these I'm just using one of these little spooly things that you get from Sally's or you can probably get them at Ulta or anywhere. Definitely Amazon. And this is like Gorilla Glue. <laughs> it's sticky. So all you need is to like push it in there. That was probably too hard. And just, I like to see how I'm like barely touching them right now. Matter of fact, I might take a little bit of this and just spread, yeah, spread it to this one too. It is sticky. So now all I'm going to do is kind of 
spread them out and then that's why it gives you that laminated look because it really lifts them and spreads them out. Now, one thing that I am grateful for is that when I had my brows done, it almost erased all of that, you know, um, microblading that I didn't like on the side. I don't know what it was. It could have been using that castor oil every night. Who knows? But I, if I was really just like going for it, I could fill this in and maybe extend my brow a little bit with the brow pencil, but I haven't done that in a long, long time. So just wanted to show you that. Now we are going to get into eyes. And let me think. I think I need, I'm going to use this rhodial palette. It is so pretty. Even John was talking about how pretty it was when, we, when I first got it. It just has beautiful shades. It's just like I need one shade lighter than that to start with. So I'm going to go get that and I'll be right back. Okay. I like this shade in the Vive palette. That one right there. If you have the um, Camel palette from Natasha Denona. You probably have a color similar to that, but I just like that one and then going into this one and I usually start off with this Laura Mercier Buff Eye Basics. Been my favorite for a long time now. And it's actually, someone said to take that stopper out. That's what I'm going to do because it seems like they run out so fast slightly irritating so did I say it's buff there's some other colors like I used to love wheat but buff see how pretty buff is even on its own buff is beautiful and then I take the fingers that I just did that with and just rub a little bit underneath my eyes I try to stay away from underneath my eyes as much as possible because that's where I have a lot of wrinkles and you know, just the more you put under there, just it just causes it to wrinkle anymore. And I don't want to cause any attention to it. And another thing I'm going to talk a little bit about today is see how my eyes are really downturned. Now, that's the way my eyes are. I don't mind. It's not like I feel like that's a fault. But we all want up. We want lifted up. So I'll teach you a little bit about that too. What brush do I have I've been loving lately? I think I've been loving a BK Beauty brush for my first brush. Hold on. This brush I really like. It's fluffy, but it's got a good shape. It is the BK Beauty 202. So I'm going to start off. Okay, even if my eyes were hooded, this is how I would start off with a tone, mid tone. You could even use a bronzer. You could use a darker face powder. And I would do my crease like this and I like to come all the way in and go all the way out like that and I I put my finger here just to hold it taut so that when you especially when you have hooded eyes you know how like when you're blending the skin can kind of fold and then it skips a piece mine will still do that sometimes and I also don't want to go past this point so it kind of helps me not go too far and hold the skin taut and see I'm kind of doing the same thing when you're contouring you're either wanting to push if you have hooded eyes you're wanting to take that skin and push it back when I'm contouring my eyes I like to take this bone because my eyes are so deep set I like to kind of push that bone back and I like to bring the color out because that just makes my smaller eyes bigger it kind of takes up the whole space instead of just staying in my tiny little eye space sometimes I like when I'm watching the news or watching some a lady on TV and gosh I just I'm so upset with their makeup artists because they will take this dark color and they will run it like right in the crease not on the bone so it makes them look even more sunken in and they won't come out so the person looks like they've got two real sunken in eyes you want to bring everything out and then I've been taking that same color on a little brush like this this is the refer number 13 brush I'm gonna take the tip of it it's a very small kind of like stiff brush and so it just stays see how it just stays on my eyelid like that it doesn't go underneath this is a good one 
I would say this is probably one of my favorite brushes from them. Her brushes are good though. Like that. So like right now I could do my liner and mascara and be fine. But this is what I've been doing. I've been taking this palette and then taking this little bit darker tone, same brush, BK202, and then start on the outside and like, see how I'm just kind of bringing that out and maybe a little bit down. I'm kind of extending my eyes like that. Okay, now, I remember when I had hooded eyes, my biggest trick was I would use a dark shadow. That's why back then, you'll notice I used a lot of dark purples and plums and dark browns and sometimes even black because the darker your shadow, it's gonna push it even further back. Now, I remember I had one eye, like I said, that folded the skin folded down and up and then I had one eye where it kind of wanted to crease and go like that if they had both been I think it was my left eye if they had both been where they would go down and then crease I probably I don't know if it would have bothered me that bad but this one that like hung right on my eyelashes that one I really think I could have gotten the doctor said I could probably could have gotten insurance to cover that I mean it hung like down to my eyelashes and that one was tougher so you might have to do each eye a little bit different. I would have to take that dark color and do it just at the top of that fold and not, and then I would use the whiter color and I would, or medium tone, and I would, that same piece of skin, the bottom half, I would do to match my lid. And then this one, that was just folded into the crease, I really didn't have to worry about that bad. It was mostly this one. And what I would do is take the dark color and get a, a brush kind of like this, that, that's thinner, that you can be very, very precise. And take the darker color, I'm just gonna start, always work up. You'll notice I start with my lightest and then I work up. So we're gonna go with this next color here on the end. And okay, like say this is the skin, you want to, don't pull it down too far, just go on the skin like that. And then this one. Like that. A lot of times too, I think I would take this darker color and I would even bring it down like that. Because you may be where you can't wear the liquid eyeliner. I remember that. I remember it transferring. I can remember holding my eyes open until it dried. And what I was never really good at that. I was never really good at doing those, you know, all those techniques where you do a line up and you do all that stuff. What I would do is I would try to just come out and go underneath my crease. So that's probably what I'll do here. So just to make these match, I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna go into this lightest color. I just wiped off my brush right here. And I'm going to go into this inner corner and kind of work and just blend that into the rest of my eye. This is gonna be, is it all matte so far? If you see a little shimmer, it's probably because that buff underneath it makes it have a little bit of a glow like that and if you want shimmer in your tear duct just any shimmery shade i'll use this one and do a little bit like that say i still basically all you're doing just remember all you're doing is taking the darkest color and pushing that back the key tip is remember, you might have to do each side different. I used to always love the purples, like, or even like that lava rock. That was like my favorite, the cool tones. Okay, now we're gonna do my liner and then we might go back to the shadows. I just, I always come back to this. I do, like if I am looking in my jar and I accidentally pick up, or I even see the Tom Ford one first, I'll pick that up because I like it just as much, but the roller liner from Benefit, is just my favorite. 
Okay. I like to just kind of visualize what I'm doing is for my droopy eyes. I like to come from this highest point and kind of come to the wing. So that is what I'm doing to lift my eyes. So watch this. You see, I'm having to, because my eyes are so deep set. So I do the end like that. And I bring it over and just remember, always start off small. You can always build. It's even with eyeliner, it's a pain to have to remove it. I mean, I do all the time to tweak it. And I'm just gonna walk this in down by my lashes and then I'm going to color it in down here where my eyes roll down so much. Like that, so that is a start. Before I start building on that one, I like to go ahead and do this one. That way I can somewhat see if I can make them the same. I mean, just because I had my eyelids done, which by the way, best thing ever, best thing ever. They healed, the stitches came out in a week they healed, they had a little bit of a scar for like a year. So if it really bothers you, I'm telling you, it was a simple, simple surgery. I had it done the same time I had my mastopexy. So I don't regret it one bit, but I know it's not for everybody. See, I even have to, um, even doing this, I have to treat my eyes kind of different. I'm having a hard time. Let me put this, where can I put, I'm just going to have to come real close, you guys. I'm sorry if it's scary. I've learned once they're basically the same, just to leave them alone. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm going to, because I know I'm gonna wear lashes, I already have these Kiss lashes that I showed you in my Walmart video. I already have those ready to go. I'm gonna put some of my Duo Dark, the original. Now we are going to go back into our palette Go in with, I'm going to just go in with that first BK Beauty brush, and I'm going to go in this darkest color, just on the very tip of my brush, and I like to come off of the wing. Did I use the darkest color? Yeah. Like that. And kind of come out some, and that just brings it out that much more. And sometimes I like to go in here too, but that's just me. It just frames my eyes a little bit better. Oh, yeah, here it is. This BK Beauty little smudger type brush. What is it? What is your name? What is your name? Oh, 204. And I, you know, that darker shade, you could even like stamp it like right on that end of the shadow just to kind of, you don't even notice it that much, but it just gives it that dreamy kind of look, I think. Like that. I used that Revita lash and I swear, I just think they keep growing. So I'm trying to get the ends of my lashes and I like to really get in here so that when I put those kind of half lashes on, I'll have something up in here too. So grab the lash and I like to set it down right where my eye is getting ready to go down and then I just set the lash down. And see how the lash is a little bit lifted on the end? And these are sticky. That just goes to show you. If you really let them dry, they will stick. I'm going to do the same thing. I set it down right where the liner starts getting thicker and my eye starts going down 
and then I take the end and just I don't really bring it up I just set it down so that it goes straight like that and see how much it just these lashes are just amazing I mean none of them are as good as this to do this technique so I'm gonna go in this with a little bit of that this with a little bit of this and I'm going to fix that and I'm gonna do it over here just to make sure they match See, mine are so deep right there. And then you can take what's left if you want for going full vixen. And then I did, I think I put um, dry shampoo in my hair and never zhuzhed it. Yeah. So, anything else? If you want some gloss on your lips, that would look pretty. And let's do an outfit of the day. I just got these in the mail the other day. One of you told me that you loved these. They're the Saludos, and I think I've heard of them. I haven't even tried them on. And they come in like the natural color, like my Castaner. And then they come in, you said, look at the pink and the blue. So of course I liked the pink. So, and then this is that same dress that I have in tan, but in the other color, the mauve color from Abercrombie. So let's try these on with it and see how it goes. I think these um, shoes too, I know even the Fendi's do. Most of these that I show you, if you're not a heels girl, they come in like a flat version. The dress and I think probably the more natural ones would probably look better, but because I wanna wear these, I'm just gonna wear these today, the pink ones. And I think they go good enough. And I love that they're the light, light pink so that they're almost like a neutral. And you know what? I might even throw on, do I have a light pink blazer? I bet I do. If I do, I'm gonna throw on the light pink blazer. If I don't, I'll probably throw on maybe a tan one or something. I'll look because I love that look of the shorter dress with the blazer, like I tell you a million times. So I hope this was fun and somewhat helpful. I know with the hooded eyes, it's such a, an individual, you know, it's, it's, with me it was individual, even each eye. But the main thing is just know that you might have to do each eye different and you might even have to do each part of the hood different. You might even have to make that skin that hangs down, half of it white and half of it dark. And just keep looking back in the mirror and looking back like this. And I will tell you this, when I first went for my consultation for my mastopexy and my eyes, I asked him, was that something, you know, we could do together? And he looked and he said, yes. Well, when I went back to, you gonna get up here? When I went back to, for my pre-op appointment, I didn't have any makeup on. That first day I had makeup on and he, I don't know if he regretted saying we could do them both at the same time, but he said, wow. He said, I had no idea how bad they were. He said, you really hid that good with makeup. I mean, I had gotten good at it. So, and you know what? Botox. Sometimes I would get Botox and it would really like lift my brow and it would just lift my eyes so much. Oh my gosh, I gotta brush her. And, um, but then sometimes I would get Botox and it wouldn't do it or it would do one more than the other. So sometimes Botox can really help you too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I, oh, I'm gonna put the link to my Rodeal Edit Kit. I would love your support. And I think that you would love the kit. I think you would love this brush. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.